Hello and welcome back to the Banner Saga 2. That's annoying. Hatches if not destroyed. Fan flamantastic. You get over there. And forget this, uh, Forget fighting the enemy, just clear us a path. Destroy that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, get to there. Tempest. No. Tempest. Full power. That cleared a lot. Well, cleared a bit some. Reasonable amount. Initiate champion. Up. Target that thing and destroy it. Up. Hit that thing with your axe. Clear it. Turn. Is next to me, pecking up. Fine. Oh, forget that. Okay, get no, get over there. Destroy it. Okay, cloaking. Champion up. Okay, it looks to be only a couple more bits of uh, snow to go after. Turn. Yep, decloaks and attacks him. How come they all seem to be moving at uh, once? That's that's kind of annoying. Get to there. Strike at that one. Not quite to destroy it, unfortunately. Right, you. Smash his armor to hell. And do a whole two damage. Bloody hell. You to there. Target that and destroy it. Only got one teensy bit of snow left to deal with. Or maybe more. Tempest. The caravan can get through. Move! <sighs> well, that was pretty terrible on my part. Cheese it. Old Ford. You can almost make out the old Ford in the distance, but there's an open land between you and it. Oddly, the dredge seemed to have fallen away. Some ravens begin slowing, tripping over their own feet with exhaustion. Krumar, the old vile war leader, speaks up. This reminds me of the ambush I sprung on Talon, the craziest chieftain of men I ever fought. His fighters were all strung out and tired like us. One small trick would have ruined our ambush. Lucky for us, they never figured it out. What are you getting at? Bah, never mind the details. Let me take some fighters to handle this situation. Don't make me regret this. You're too young to have regrets, Krumar says. 
I've only had two in my lifetime. One was sleeping too close to the fire in the Great Hall after eating eggs for twelve days straight. I'll tell you the second another time. A dozen fighters take off to the war leader and disappear over the hill. Places to make a final stand. I bring us to the old fort. A human prince that should have crumbled a hundred years ago. Poor lass over it. We need water and sleep. People will help us. Don't attack them. Shield wall, you say. What well, you think you say. Fatigue hinders your every thought. No one forms up as a large group of humans approach from the buildings near the old ford. A small, stout man leads them. Mercenaries, huh? You don't look worth a damn, let alone coin. You reach for your axes, but a few spearmen make it clear you shouldn't. Easy. Last thing we need to spill each other's blood before that dark wall of the dredge get their chance, eh? Dredge. The word echoes in your head. They... they don't know what they're doing. The man makes a face, and even Falker lifts her head enough to squint at you. Well, we're charged with keeping this route open for the clans that went to Arborang. So, we know we're going to be killing as many of those dredge as we can. Threats and commands come to mind, but never make it out of your mouth. The march, the fighting, the lack of sleep all catch up with you and you fall to a knee. You try to catch yourself, but gracelessly your head hits the snow. He's about to have another lightning white tower based dream, isn't he? Called it! Darkness. Purple lightning and Ooh, purple Dark lightning. Sun. That's new. What in the depths is this? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Sensing you're being watched, you leap to your feet and reach for claw and fang. But they are missing. Roar in anger. The short man by the entrance takes a step back. Easy, Bulvark. No one's trying to harm you. You get to your feet, head pounding. Where are the ravens? You ask. I woke you first, he says. The others need to get up too. Let you sleep as long as they're dead, but we're almost out of time. He motions to a side table and you find your axes undamaged. Who are you? What do you want? You ask. Name's Hada. That won't make a difference in a few hours. We came from Akur, the rear guard of the clan's army that went to challenge the king in Arborang. With axes in hand, you ask, then what do you want from me? Well, I'm no battle leader, Hada says. I'm just a skirmisher like all the rest here. Proud of myself for not running off already, plain and simple. You know how to fight. Tell us what to do and we'll do it. We've got fighters who could use tips or encouragement, Hada says. Or we could build up some stake walls, parts of buildings. Up to you, but you don't have time to do much. No one's expecting miracles. Regardless of how this plays out, I'm glad you stumbled in here when you did. Stepping into the cold air refreshes you. You look around and are surprised to see stragglers crossing the bridge. Can't believe it, can you? Krumar says, walking among the dozen fighters you sent with him. One of these days, all of you will realise there's only one thing tougher than an old vile war leader on a mission. The ravens around him look tired, but happy to have made it. You grab a handful of snow and squeeze it in your fist until a trickle of water runs to the ground. A silent tribute to your ravens who didn't make it. Okay, how badly injured is everybody? Oh good, we're uninjured. That's nice. <sighs> Bloody hell. Got out worth buying. Plus two armor per turn. That was promising. Plus three to all talent ranks. Bloody hell, that's impressive. That's actually really impressive. Let's have that just for the hell of it. I'm going to give it to, uh, well, the only rank 10 hero we've got here. Anywho, 
Okay, let's go to the houses. Walking among the buildings, a few ravens introduce you to a carpenter from the town. Easy enough to bring a few of these homes and barns down, he says, pointing with a hammer. If you and your ravens can help me cut some of the materials from them, or make it so any force coming across that bridge will pay dearly. Get started. We don't have much time. Right away, Garmenter says. We'll start here. A few hours later, st stake walls are in place as the dredge arrive. It might not save us, you tell Falker, but we'll be able to kill a few more than before. She's going to be ticked with me, isn't she? The shield maiden tightened straps on her armour while glaring at it with red-rimmed eyes. If you've got something to say, say it. We'll be dead before long. We don't have to be. We could leave right now. Whoever's after us would roll through here without slowing. We'd be caught in the open. And let the, the, leave the damn cart here. Let the dredge have it. I gave an oath to... An oath isn't worth all of our fan lives. That's exactly what an oath is worth. In the following silence, you see Falker's eyes brim with tears. I don't want to die. Not yet. And I don't want you to die either. Talk like this is forbidden in the company. But you turn your head, giving her a moment to collect herself. What would you do if the person you followed for years were no longer the same? I'm trying to figure out what's happening to me. You said yourself would be dead soon. What have you come up with? There's a voice in my head. It's growing louder. I've been fighting to keep it quiet. Bellow's voice, probably. But Bellow is dead. His body? He's asleep. I think the arrow keeps him that way. Falcon nods. The conclusion doesn't seem that far-fetched to her. These dreams are things he's seen. The Valka did something to betray him. They were working with the Sunder? I think so. But this has more to do with Evian and Juno. They did something, something bad. I don't even think Zephyr knows what they did. The two of you look over at Zephyr. The Valka stares into a fire, lost in thought. So what does all of this mean? <sighs> I don't know. Figured as much. Still feels better knowing I'm not the only one in the dark. You look up at the sharp contrast between the constant sunshine and the black wall. Huh. I guess we'll all be in the dark soon enough. A scout's horn signals all fighters to the bridge. If we make it through this, someone in Manahar is going to answer to me. You storm off to the fighting, building your rage with each step. The immensity of the dredge forces standing just across the bridge is both terrifying and wondrous. And the droning sounds shake the ground. You wonder if the old ford can withstand it. Fear is strong in the air. You faintly hear some humans running away. But your ravens stand firm against the impossible odds. You grant yourself a moment of pride for that. Suddenly, the tall wall of dredge warriors begins to move. What the hell? Well, that's creepy as balls. And seriously, balls are quite creepy if you ever just, you know, looked at them. I'm just going to let that sink in for a while. <laughs> that is quite a lot of numbers. Hey, we've got some archers for support. Is that Nichols? But he's dead. Don't be fooled. As isn't Nichols, but Eyeless. Okay. Okay, you. Cloak up. Okay, they're allied, but they're not uh, under my control. Pity, but uh, look at what you've got. That at least gives them a counter-attack ability. Which I think is worth it in this uh, regard. Give up. I could get into that gap. Target for maximum effect. Well, that, he went down easy. <laughs> Cast Breeze on him. 
2018. Bloody hell. Gonna be tricky hitting him with enough firepower to bring him down. Or her, I should say, because they did state that uh, she is female. The archers aren't exactly using smart tactics, are they? Okay, move up. Maximum strength. Okay, decent damage, and that guy's not going to be moving for a little while, so we've got time. Move you up. Target him. Maximum strength. Take him down. Okay, Falka. Move up. Target with a break attack. up. Uh, cast Mend on him. As I restore some armor. Now what the hell is she going to do? Oh bloody hell. Zombie. Marvelous. The uh, music's gone all ominous you know. It's Stop targeting them with uh, basic attacks when their armor's still strong. Thank you. Minis. Okay, watch for incoming. Urgh, that's annoying. Okay. His armor's down to two, which means he's taking significant damage there. Okay, kill him. Ah, she basically possesses uh, the corpses, doesn't she? Okay. Holy tits! Wish him wrecked clean through our barriers as well. Move to there. Target with maximum strength. Need her armor as damaged as we can make it. I want to make sure you can close to attack range, other. And you can't. Well, that's infuriating. Nice kill, well done. You actually did something useful. That wasn't useful. He's visible again. Limits his utility. Yep. Okay, good crit. Resurrecting them, annoying pain in the neck. Go to that. Stab. Oh, bloody hell. Oh boy, right behind our lines, that's moderately annoying. Him. 
because he's the only one who's not you know, quite badly wounded. Actually, I probably should have used Mend on her. So if I keep her Mended, she can actually hold up pretty well against you know, most of what they can throw at us. got left is the tough bastards. And the odd slinger. Draw his armor. Hit him for at least some damage. Bloody hell. Stab him. Okay. Men. Maximum strength. Damn it. Okay, that one's down to one health. Okay, one of them's down. Race for incoming. Oh, bloody hell. She could possess our dead as well. Bollocks, now he's down. I say this is my problem. I do not like melee focused you know, squads. They're just not helpful to me. In terms of the way I uh you know. Flaming marvellous this situation. get to the point where we can start pillaging on you know, this thing. We might have an actual chance, but... Thankfully, he's badly wounded, so we're close to there. Take him out. Good. Pissing hell. Okay, so we're down to... Uh, yeah. Down to equal numbers of us and them. We're in trouble. At least uh, we've still got one allied archer. Oh, fan flaming fantastic. Okay, destroy his armor. Move in. Kill him. Okay. Now we're down to a bleed one-on-one -on -one fight, which we're going to lose. Well, bollocks. <laughs> you fall to the frozen ground, knowing the Sunder Eyeless will use your body to further her plans, and the Bellower will once again be free. Can I load? 
Yeah, okay. 87 at 10 o'clock. So that was a quarter of a bloody hour ago. So yeah, so we need to uh, basically redo that fight and not lose this time. Ugh. Yes, 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 yes. I've seen all this. Okay, let's try again. Yes, thank you. Don't need to see this stuff again. Okay, is there anybody I'd rather have as part of this team? No, because everybody sucks. Ugh. Right. I really hate these guys. <laughs> yep, to, to, my, to the way I uh, like to play, as in ranged focus, lots of long range damage, this lot are basically worthless. Yeah, 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 we know. Right. Okay, forget about killing him initially. Need to focus on these three. Who's the heaviest hitter? Yeah, it's these three guys. So focus everything we've got along one side. Push up this way. Do what we can against them. Makes sense. Good. You're going to cloak, swing wide around the side. He's penned in. Didn't mean to do, but oh well. And he's bloody penned in as well. Oh well. Let them come to us. Okay. Need to move up so there's an actual corridor to advance through. <laughs> and our archers are already getting the crap kicked out of them. Breeze on him so that he can move further and faster. Rest. Okay. Now he's ignoring nine points of armor. Should be able to kill one of these guys completely on his own. Yes, in one hit. Okay. Right. Move up. Strike them down. Moderate. Okay. Move up. A turn. I don't even know what ability that was. Alright. Move forward. Spear strike. Okay, get the Mender forward behind our lines. And use Men. Actually, she doesn't need to be mended yet. Don't have a range to strike anybody, so I gotta use Brunic Gale there. I get a maximum strength one. For the hell of it. Willpower, this is armor. So there. And actually, no. Get that. No. Get it. Just 
go to there and then to seriously? Okay, just go to there. Use forge ahead on him. Okay. So he's moved up in the pecking order, which means he should be able to kill this guy. Aha, nice. Okay, we're doing a little better this time. And I think I'm going to have to call this part here. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.